What's going on guys? This is Shameen here. Um, I was actually gonna make a video on a totally different topic right now, but this one just came to me and I wanted to talk about FOMO and making the right plays and making the plays that make sense for you. Because, you know, especially if you're into trading and investing, uh, if you follow the stock market or uh, crypto markets, um, you definitely see a lot of people out there chasing trends, following trends. Uh, you see all these things going up and down. And my advice is just to stay in your lane and you know stick to what you know because there's always more plays to be made. That's just the nature of the market. Like there's gonna be other big plays. If you miss a play, you missed it. It's, it's not a big deal. There's gonna be more plays to be made there's more plays being made right now. Like, it's just like when you look at Bitcoin and Ethereum, you know, so many people, I mean, even when I first got into it back in like 2017, <clears throat> people were saying, oh, the price has already gone up so much. Like, there's no point in doing this. Um, or, you know, Bitcoin, Ethereum, people have literally been saying for years, oh, it's already gone up too much, like it is what it is, um, which is fine. But there's literally other plays to be made. There's new cryptos all the time being made, new projects. I mean, look what just happened with Solana. Solana, when I first uh, started paying attention to it at the beginning of this year in January, I think end of January, early February was $14. It's now over $160 right now. Um, which I actually was holding some Solana, um, but not as much as I would hope. I, I certainly didn't get in uh, at the $14 either, because I don't think I jumped in until it was around 40 or 50. Um, but that's another big one that just happened. I bet now there's gonna be a bunch of people trying to jump into Solana, which yeah, sure, it probably does have a long ways to go, but like it just had a freaking exponential run over the last few weeks um, and even if you just look back and zoom out over the past year um, I'm not necessarily like looking to pack my bags on that right now um, certainly not for any type of short term to midterm play because that that's already just seen like a, a historic rise you know it's not a play that I'm ready to make like if I had gotten to it way back in January then I would have been like, oh, okay, that, you know, like there's no point in chasing all these pumps and all these new coins and tokens. You see it even with the NFTs. I mean, you can definitely chase plays, but just be smart about it. And like, just know the play that you're going to make um, because there's a lot of them, you know, and depending on your strategy, I mean, for me personally, I would rather be early on a play I'm confident in than try to jump in on a play that's late. Um, there's definitely a lot of FOMO and people make choices following trends, which I think is not necessarily strategic. It's somewhat emotional because you're like, damn, this person's winning off of this. I'm missing out. It's just like, all right, well, you can't look every play that's available in the market is not something that you can do or even attempt. So there's no point in worrying about it. Like if you're in the market, just worry about the plays that you're comfortable with making and the ones that you want to take and the ones that you have the risk tolerance for and the risk appetite for because if you don't, you're gonna end up getting wrecked chasing one of these uh, coins that someone else has been accumulating for months or years already and you think you're gonna just hop on at the end of like a parabolic run and I mean, yeah, over long term, yeah, you might still win, but I'm very wary of doing things like that because it feels like I'm just trying to hop on a train that I've already missed the station. And there's not to say that you should never invest in anything that's already gone up a lot either. It's just like, depending on your investment strategy, like for me right now, I'm looking more at small cap plays and plays that I think are going to, uh, you know, 10x or more. You know, I'm not ne I'm not necessarily looking for something that's going to 3x or maybe even 5x 
um, you know, through the next few months. I'm looking for something that's going to 10x. Um, so, it, it, you know, it's hard to now look at, it's hard to now see something that do that 10x jump and then think you're going to get in on it. Now, if you're just talking about long term, yeah, I understand. There's definitely things that you can get into that, um, you know, you just want to get in on because you have, it has the upward trajectory. But for me, I'm definitely looking at some more, I guess, risky plays as we get through the end of this year, um, because I want to see, um, you know, for all this money that I'm investing, I really want to see it blow up. I mean, I'm still betting big on Zenfuse, you know, not a sponsor, not a paid show, but I'm holding that bag. And I'm, I'm waiting for it uh, between uh, Q3 and Q1 of next year. I'm waiting for it to have its time. Like, I don't care about what happens with any of the other plays. Like, I'm paying attention to that. When that has its day, then I'll be like, all right, let me see what else is going on. Uh, because until that happens, I'm going all in. Uh, there might be one, one or two other coins that I consider, like uh, FTM, Phantom, or uh, Zillica. Um, as far as some um, coins that are, are you know, still have a ways to go um, as far as their market cap and their popularity and adoption that I think might be worth holding for, uh, you know, midterm. Uh, and then as far as long term, uh, I'm not really looking at long term plays right now. I'll probably like analyze again when I think this bull run is coming to an end or is over because right now I'm just focused. I'd rather get the short term play that's gonna pay out more and then diversify into more long term plays. Maybe I'll make a separate video just on like long term picks that I'm I really like. Uh, but for now, that's just my thoughts on FOMO and uh, you know trying to get in on trends, especially depending on what's your investment strategy, your risk appetite is. Um, for me, that's just my take on it. I, I'm not going to uh, just follow any play. I'm just gonna make the plays that I'm confident in or find the um, coins that I really like and believe in and stick to that. If I have conviction in it, I'm gonna go all in and we'll see how that turns out in the next few months.